the deep and mysterious flavor of dad gad tune in today let's get down a full practice routine it's gonna look and sound like this One, two, Let's break that down. Okay, close look at the fretboard, getting started with section one of this lesson. Learning how to get into the dad gad tune in. The first thing you need to do is tune your low E string to the D string. So I'm gonna strike both strings together and then adjust. All right, now I've successfully matched those two strings together. All right, now, the tuning that we need is going to be D, A, D, G, A. So we need to tune the B string now to the A string. So pluck both of those strings together and match. And the last step is going to be tuning the high E string to the D string as well. So once again, pluck both strings together and... gradually match those notes together. All right, now we have the complete dad gad tuning. D, A, D, G, A, D. All right, now jumping into our practice routine, we're gonna be employing Travis style picking, which means our thumb is going to control the bass notes, E, A, and D strings, and our index, middle, and sometimes our ring finger are going to control the high strings, G, B, and high E string. That's going to give you the ability to get that going to California style picking pattern. Okay, right there, that's our first line of music. Taking a look at the first measure of that, real slow. All right, that's something that we can break up into two parts. Part number one, All right, that started with a double pluck. Low E string and high E string together, followed by the open D. Then we're bending third fret high E string slightly, followed by all open strings, E, E, D. And of course, I'm calling the strings out by their usual names for ease of learning. So far you have one and a, two and a. Super, super important that you practice counting as you learn each of these measures. That gets us to the second half of the measure. All right, that was the low E string and the B string together. I'm grabbing third fret of the B string and bend in slightly. From there, I'm gonna play. All open strings. D, E, E, B, D. All right, so your left hand is doing very little work on this first measure of music. All right, that's what it sounds like when you put those two parts together. See if you can play it real slow. All right, that's gonna get us to this really cool lick, um, utilizing a little arpeggio and a pull off. Breaking that down, I'm grabbing the fourth fret of the G string and third fret of the B string. I'm gonna pluck this apart, starting with the low E string and then G, B, high E string. Using my index, middle, and ring finger to arpeggiate. Then I'm back to the B string, G string, and just as I pluck the G string with the index finger, I'm gonna pull off of the B string. All right, so it kind of creates this extra note and the effect of these notes cascading against one another. All right, 
from there we're going to do a pull off 2-0 and then a bend on the third fret D string for some bluesy flavor. All right, put that measure together and it should sound like this. All right, and put in measures one and two together, we should have. All right, now taking a look at the next line of tablature, measures three and four, we're going to employ a little repetition, which I think is always a good thing. All right, so it's gonna be the same thing, except we're going to change up the tail end in. All right, it's gonna look and sound like this. All right, so measure three was verbatim, as was measure number four, except at the end there, we're playing. All right, so that was fret number three of the A string pulling off to zero with a slight bend there. Then a slight bend on fret number three of the low E string, followed by the open string and some harmonics. Definitely on the B and high E string, but because we're in this open tuning, all six strings are fair game. All right, you put those two lines of music together and we should have. Okay, now moving on to the third line of tablature, we're going to employ a speedy little picking pattern over a bar chord progression. Looks and sounds like this. A little slight bend there is going to add some tension. All right, to get us into another melody. All right, so that started off bar in the fifth fret, low E string to high E string. Now because we're in dad gad, which is also referred to as open D sus four tuning, every single bar as we go up the fretboard, we're going to be transposing a sus four chord. If we bar on the fifth fret, that's going to be a G sus four chord. Over that shape, we're gonna play. Okay, so that's actually a pretty simple pattern. We're starting off striking the low E string with the high strings. Using a paintbrush technique, I have my middle finger kind of swiping up on the high strings. Then I'm gonna slap the strings before launching into this pattern, which is very repetitious. Three times. E, E, B, D. Okay, put that to work and we have. All right, next we're gonna take that exact technique down a full step. That gives us F sus four. We're gonna repeat that pattern for half a measure before going up to fret seven, A sus four. Over that last chord, one more time we're playing. Okay, so it was the double pluck, followed by the slap, making sure that my thumb is really hitting that low E string kind of forcing the string to clap against the wired frets. All right, so. Then I'm going E, E, B, bending the eighth fret of the B string with my middle finger. All right, you put that together and we have two measures of music, measures five and six of our practice routine. One and two and a three and a four and a And notice how I slid up into those positions. That's always an option. All right, that's going to get us to our final line of music, which is very melodic. Looks and sounds like this. One more time. Okay, 
Okay, so that first melody. Can be broken up into two parts. Part number one. That's a great place to stop and practice. Keep in mind that we have those bass notes alternating. One and two and three and four and throughout that measure. That will give you a sense of how the melody is going to line up with the bass notes. So we're starting off hammering 10 up to 12 on the high E string, coupling that with the bass note low E string on beat number one. And then alternating to the open D string. From there, we're on to fret 12 of the high E string once again with a little vibrato. All right, then we're back to the low E string before going to fret number 10 of the high E string. So far you have. With the count, one E and a two and. All right, then the second half of that measure. Okay, so right there I played zero on the D string, followed by fret number seven of the high E string. Back to the low E string. Then we're doing this kind of train whistle, Skip James style lick. Bend in the eighth fret of the B string up as those notes cascade against each other. Next, it's all open strings. Open D, E, E, B, D. So. All right, you put that together and we have the second half of that measure. Should sound like this. One more time, get it into your ear. And that full measure of music, the final melody of our practice routine. We're gonna repeat that two more times. Before reprising. That nice little riff that we had in measure number four. Okay, so same thing, but now I'm gonna change up my fingers so that way I can get to this harmonic a little bit easier. Okay, so that arpeggio with the pull off. Followed by. 3-0, 3-0, You have the choice. You can throw in some harmonics here on the seventh fret, which I think has a really cool sound, or right there on fret number 12. So the harmonics are one of the really cool features that we have when we're jamming in these open tune-ins. Okay, if you can play that, then you're ready to move on to seeing if you can play through the entire practice routine. Let's start off at a slow tempo. Then once you feel like you're ready, you can go back to the beginning of this video and practice along with me at full speed. One and two and three and four, here we go. Just like that, everybody, you've picked up some classic tricks in open dadgad tuning. All right, friends, thanks so much for checking out this dadgad guitar tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and that this practice routine is going to inspire you creatively. Feel free to use all of these techniques that I showed you today uh, in your own original music. I wanna thank my patrons for making all these lessons possible. I hope you're enjoying the extra resources that I have for you today. Until next time, this is Rob coming at you from the Jersey Shore saying happy picking.